depression was not just an economic crisis. Het was een emotionele klap die de hoop en dromen van veel Amerikanen uiteen deed vallen. As stocks continued to fall during the early 1930s, businesses failed. Werklozen geschikt waren. Banks failed and life savings were lost. Vele Amerikanen raakten hun spaargeld en hun baan kwijt. Thousands of Americans lost their homes. En ik schaamte voor het feit dat ze hun familie niet meer konden onderhouden. Dit is nog vader van families. Financial worries left many families to fall apart or worse. Tijdens de grote depressie werden veel kinderen bezig want hun ouders bezweken aan ziekte. Of overleven aan ziektes op de werkplek. New York alone had 24 orphanages. Conditions that were rough. Extremely rough. With up to 100 kids sleeping in one dormitory. Mommy, I'm scared. I've lost my mom. 
neck and kept the other half. So that when we go back for her, you will know that she's our baby! <laughs>
wat zeggen we dan Annie? I love you, Miss Hannigan. Now, why any kid would want to be an orphan, I'll never know.
orphan's picnic. As soon as I take a bite. What? Hey! Get back here! <gasps> now that I think about it, don't you ever get back here! The fuck am I stop? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nee, meneer. D dit is mijn hond. Your dog, huh? 
Where's his license? Where's his leash? He's no more your dog than I am your father. Nou, ik zie u, meneer. Ik, ik, ik ben de hondenvergunning vergeten, maar neemt u hem alsjeblieft niet mee. Wij, wij zijn afhankelijk van hem. See, my father. He is blind and this dog takes him to work and if he doesn't work, we'll starve. What's his name? The father's name. The dog's name. The dog's name? Sammy. Yes, I call him Sandy because of his beautiful sandy color. Okay, let's see a match to his name. Now, see, him here. He is not so long by us. I just bought him and saw him. Call him! Okay. Here, Sandy. Here, boy. Come here, Sandy. That's Sandy. Next time he's out, I want to see him with a license and a leash. We should go straight to the pal. I understand, sir. Now get along with you before you catch your death of cold in this weather. Oh, I don't mind the weather. <laughs> <laughs>
one, is it? Yeah. I'm Lieutenant Ward of the 70th Prison. Look what we found under a bridge. Huh? We found your runway. Every great bearish flesh upon my arm, it must die out so rust. How can I ever thank you enough? And you will be worried sick. A big hearted woman like you. Yeah, I have a great heart. This heart. So groot, the door of my doubt. How can I ever thank you enough? I'm sure we can think of something if we get our heads together. Oh, Dr. Bell, Lieutenant Ward. She was in one of them shanty towns over to the river, hanging around with a bunch of disgusting bums. Het waren geen schooiers. Homeless, yes, but not bums. Had a filthy dog with her, but he got away. Oh, poor pumpkin out in the freezing cold with just that thing sweater. Hopelijk heb je geen influenza opgelopen. Nogmaals, hartelijk dank, Lieutenant Ward. All in the line of duty. You ought to put a leash on this kid. And you, don't let me ever hear that you run away from this nice lady again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, officer. The next time you walk out that door, it'll be 1953. Well, are you glad to be back? Huh? Ja, mevrouw Heinegger. Leugenaar, dat is het enige wat ik je al die jaren geleerd heb. Never tell a lie. Goedemiddag, mevrouw Hennigan. Ja, are you selling beauty products? Ik heb geen schoonheidsproducten nodig. Tot ziens. I'm Grace Farrell, private secretary to Oliver Warbucks. The Oliver Warbucks. The millionaire. Uh, yeah. The billionaire. <laughs> Mr. Warbucks has decided to invite an orphan to spend the Christmas holidays with him at his home. I'm here to select one. That's just wonderful. Welcome in ons vrolijke huis. We hebben keuze zat. Wat voor soort wees had u in gedachten? Well, oh, she should be. Friendly and intelligent. Mississippi. Capital M I double S I double S I double P I Mississippi. And cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> and who out? Age doesn't really matter. Say eight or nine or ten or eleven. Eleven would be perfect. Oh, elf jaar. Sorry, zulke beest kinderen hebben wij hier niet. What about this child right here? Annie. Oh. Geen sprake van, you don't want her, she's, she's a drunk! I'm the worst cleaner! Annie, how <laughs> would you like to spend the Christmas holidays with Mr. Warbucks in his mansion? Dat zou ik geweldig vinden. Ah! Oh, stop! You can have any orphan here except for Annie! Why? Met haar kan nog een appeltje verschillen. She's got it coming <coughs> to her, and I don't mean a week of luxury. She's got to learn to know her place. She's got to learn to know her place? Annie is filthy by the hunt. Well, Mr. Warbucks likes cheeky orphans. <laughs> or perhaps I should make a call to Mr. Donatelli at the Board of Orphans. Mr. Warbucks can Mr. Donatelli. Well, if that's the case, if it's Annie you want, it's Annie you'll get. If will Annie. Oh, boy. Now, if you'll just get her coat, I'll take her right along. She doesn't have a coat. Well, then we'll buy her one. Oh, boy. Come on, Annie. Mr. Warbucks' limousine is right outside. Oh, boy. Not hasty to lope. She can hardly believe it. <laughs> hey, kids. I'm getting up for Christmas. I'll write to ya. Goedemiddag, 
Goedemiddag, Miss Farrell.
is everybody? Hallo allemaal. Sir. Welcome to City Airport. It's good to be home. How was your flight from <laughs> Chicago? Not too bad. Only took 11 hours. Did the painting arrive? Uh, yes, sir. They're just uncreating it. I don't like it. Send it back. Grace. Yeah, I'm in here. Messages. President Roosevelt, if you present them, took the ballot of the liver from Twitter House. I'll get back to him tomorrow. Everything's urgent to a Democrat. Mr. Warbuck. All right, good to see you all again. Sir? Drake, dismiss the staff. Yes, sir? And Grace, if you get your notebook. <coughs> Who is that? It is Annie, Meneer Warbuck. That's not a boy. Orphans are boys. I'm sorry, sir. You just said orphans, so I chose a girl. Now, daar we have to do what we to do. Annie, huh? Annie, what? Oh, gewoon Annie, hoor. I have geen achternaam. Maar it's spijt me dat ik geen jongen ben. No problem. I couldn't be happier. Grace, we'll get started with the figures on the iron ore shipments from Toledo to... What are we supposed to do with this child? A bit of aandacht, Schenke. This is her first avond here. Well, Annie, I guess we ought to do something special on your first night here. Would you like to go to a movie? I've never been to one. Well, then you'll go to the Roxy, and then have an ice cream soda at the Rumpelmayers, followed by a nice cab ride around Central Park. Jolly. Grace, forget about the dictation for tonight. Instead, you'll take Annie to the movies. Yes, sir. Oh, gee. Something the matter, Annie? It's just that, well, I thought that you were going to take me. Oh, nee, I'm bang that I have to veel te druk heb. Oh, gee. Now, Annie, I've just been away for six weeks, and when a man is running a multi billion dollar corporation. Dear yeah, meneer. Ik snap het helemaal, geen enkel probleem. Drake. Yes, sir. Get our coats. Yes, oh, sir. Gee. And Grace, you'll come to, of course. Welke automobile zult u willen gebruiken, meneer? We'll use the Duesenberg. No, wait. This child's been cooped up in an orphanage. We'll walk. Walk to the Roxy? Why not? It's only 45 blocks. Yes, sir! Ah, smell those fresh bus fumes? There's no air like the air of New York. Come on, you slow folks. We got to get to the Roxy before the prices change. Why is it so in here? I hope you first have slap news to say. This is an absolute crazy risk Mr. Warbucks is taking, going out without protection. I think it's cute. He's reconnecting to his inner child. Oh, you think he's playing? <coughs> I spilled the other man's life in it like my Russian roulette. Do you think we are mentioned in this testament? I sure hope so! I will keep an eye out on them, just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs>
het nu weer is Warbox en nu al spuugzat geworden. On the contrary, we zijn again this has to be signed and sent to the Board of Orphans by no later than 10 o'clock tomorrow. Hoezo? Because Mr. Warbucks is so taken with Annie that he wants to adopt her. Oh, did it. Annie, the daughter of a millionaire? The daughter of a billionaire? <laughs> Would you excuse me for just, just a moment, please? More wonderful news. <laughs> Find a care staff in Miss Hannigan and make sure to sign that. Whoopsie! Pardon me, buddy. Hi, sis. A long time no see. Rooster, they finally let you out of prison, huh? What were you in for this time? Some old geezer said I swiddled him out of 1100 bucks. Why do you say that? Because the rooster swiddled him out of 1100 bucks. Sis, I'd like to meet a friend of mine from Jersey City, sweet thing. Lily St. Reddy's. We was wondering if you could, you know, lend us a few bucks. Just to get it started. Jouw leen ik nog geen stuiver voor de metro door. Come on, sis. Hey, fuck! Blijf met je poten van mijn spullen af, slol! I bet Miss Sticky Fingers over there can get you up and running in no time. Who's the hottie I bumped into when I came in? She works for Oliver Warbucks. The Oliver Warbucks? Annie, een van de wezen hier, wordt door hem geadopteerd. Adopted? I feel for all like one of them stinkers. <laughs> yeah, living a life of luxury while the two Hannigan kids ended up broke. <laughs>
Listen, Mr. President, why don't we bury the hatchet and you can come over with Mrs. Roosevelt for supper. Christmas Eve? You will. Wonderful. Goodbye, Mr. President. Grace, find out what Democrats eat. Ja, wel, meneer. Patch and Tiffany's? Het pakketje is vanavond aangekomen. Fine, I will give it to her and then tell her that I want to adopt her. She's going to be the happiest little girl in the world. Get her down here. Yes, <coughs> Hello. Penny, can we have a man to man talk? <laughs> Wilt u het sturen naar het weeshuis van mevrouw Hennigan? Of course not. Annie, I was born into a very, very poor family. And both of my parents died before I was ten. So, I made a promise to myself that someday, one way or another, I was going to be rich. Very rich. <laughs> that was a good idea. By the time I reached 23, I had made my first million. And ten years later, I had turned that into a hundred million. Back then, that was a lot of money. Anyway, making money is all I've ever given a damn about. I might as well tell you, Annie, I was ruthless to those I had to climb over to get to the top. Because I always believed in one thing. You don't always have to be nice to the people you meet on your way up if you're not coming back down. Mr. Warbucks, that is actually best for shrinking but lately I've come to realize something. No matter how much money or how many Rembrandts you've got, if you have no one to share your life with, if you're alone, you might as well be broke. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Natuurlijk. Meer of minder? More or less. Ik denk van niet. Dang. Well, uh, I was in Tiffany's yesterday and I picked this up for you. For me? Oh, wow. Thank you well, Mr. Robux. Oh, wow. It's a silver locket necklace, Annie. I noticed that old broken one you always wear, and I said to myself, I'm going to get that kid a nice new locket. Here, we'll just take this old one off. Nee! I will get your getting. Annie, what is her? The medallion was from my ouders. Ze liet het achter toen ze mij achterlieten. Bij het weeshuis. I know I'm real lucky being with you for Christmas, but the one thing I want in the whole world is to find my mother and father. To be like other kids, with folks of my own. It'll be all right. I'll find them. I'll find your parents for you. Meneer Warbucks gaat jouw vader en moeder voor je vinden. Al moet hij iedereen in zijn hele organisatie hier opzetten. Even if he has to pull every political string there is to pull. Up to and including the White House. And we'll use your locket. Okay. Misschien komt de brief de FBI ook van pas. Smart thinking. And we'll do a radio announcement. You watch Annie, you may be meeting your mother and father within a couple days. That's far? Really? Oh wow, I gotta write to the kids about this. Pretty soon everyone will know I'm looking for my parents. If I find them, I will lose her. You won't be an orphan for long, Annie. Because we're going on the radio to tell you.
this gesture, you zip it. Anders verstaan onze luisters er geen snors van. Oké, okay. okay. let's give this a try. Oh. Oh, is wat vast dan nou? You need much more emotion. Go more like, oh. Do it again.
Good evening, Annie. And good evening, Oliver Warbox. It's nice of you to drop by. Good evening, Bert Healy. It's, uh, it's nice to be here. Well, I understand you have something to tell the folks here about little Annie. Uh, yes, Bert Healy. Uh, thank you, Bert Healy. It's swell. Do I say swell? Yes, you do. Swell to be on the Occident Hour. So, I understand you're conducting a search for Annie's parents. I told you. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, yes, I will now be conducting a coast to coast nationwide search for Annie's parents. Drop page, Warbucks continues. Oh. Furthermore, I will be offering a certified check for $50,000 to anyone who can prove that they are Annie's parents. So, Annie's parents, if you're listening in, write to Oliver Warbucks, care of this station. And who knows, soon you might be reunited with your long lost daughter, holding her tightly in one hand, and $50,000 in the other. Thank you, Oliver. <laughs> Thank you, Bert Healy, and thank you, all new Occident, the toothpaste with Miracle K64. Well, I see by the old <laughs> clock on the wall that another of our Thursday night get-togethers has gone by faster than you can say Occident. Did I just do a commercial? Let's get out of here. I've never endorsed a product in all of my career. <laughs>
at the orphanage. What else did she have with her? Uh, uh, dollar? Uh, I'm steady, dear, chair. So we put her in a car for box with red <laughs> Frodo. This side up. <laughs> How to block I 
respect you. We want to prove of who we are. Here is Annie's birth certificate and uh, our driver's license. <laughs> Baby girl name Anne Elizabeth Mudge, born to Ralph and Shirley Mudge, New York, New York, October 28, 1922. Uh, 28 October, that's my fiara. Ow! Oh, well When we left Annie back at the orphanage, we broke half the silver locket, gave her one half. Oh yes, it fits perfectly. Oh thank God, Ralph, she really is our Annie. Uh, Mr. Mudge, about the money. Well, we ain't got much. Uh, you haven't heard? I'm offering a certified check for $50,000 to anyone who can prove that they are Annie's parents. No, sir. Anyway, we don't want no money. <laughs> On the other hand, Ralph. Remember that little pig farm out there in New Jersey? <coughs> Met 50,000 dollars zouden we haar prachtige toekomst kunnen aanbieden op het platteland. Would it be alright if Annie stayed here until tomorrow, Christmas? Then you come back to pick her up and the check. Whatever you prefer, sir. I guess we can wait one more day. Tot morgen, liever. Oh, poepie schreef je van me. See you later, honey. And spend the rest of your life with us. And we'll be feeding you to the pigs. I mean, we'll be feeding the pigs together on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, honey. Merry Christmas. Now, this is... Wonderful news. Drink champagne. Yes, sir. We must celebrate, for we have just received the most wonderful news in the world. Annie has found her mother and her father. I propose a toast. To Anne E. Mudge. To Anne E. Mudge. To Annie. I've lost her. I've lost Annie. Sir, I have the strangest feeling that I've seen Mr. Mudge before. That he's not who he says he is. Then I won't give her up till we're certain. But how? I'll find a way. I'll go straight to the top, to the president of the United States, even if he is a Democrat. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Much? No. 
David and Margaret Bennett. But Annie. Annie, your parents passed away a long time ago. Oh, dus eigenlijk was het al die tijd wel al een beetje. Gaat het een beetje, Annie? Are you okay? Yes, because I know that that they love me and that, that they would have come for me if they weren't dead. <laughs> I love you, Annie Bennett. I love you too. But now, who the heck are Ralph and Shirley Much? Wie geboorte af te kan vrij gemakkelijk vervals zijn, but nobody knew about the locket except us. And the FBI. And of course. <laughs> and Miss Hannigan. And Miss Hannigan! Sir! Miss Hannigan and the children from the orphanage. Hi kids! Hey! Hey! Hi Annie! Ah, Miss Hannigan, I'm delighted to finally meet you. It is my a genoegen. I even hoor that you bij gezel bent. Um, Miss Hannigan, let me introduce you to everyone. You know Miss Farrell, and this is the President of the United States, and that is my butler, Drake. Kijk jongens, er zijn kerstgenootjes voor ons allemaal. <coughs> Mr. Warbucks, this has come from the FBI. <laughs> Now it all fits together. Sir, Mr. and Mrs. Munch. And hele goeie morgen allemaal. Merry Christmas, one and all. Merry Christmas! Wow, we don't have to bother you on Christmas and all. We just came to pick up Annie, the end of check. Ah, yes, of course, the check. Here it is, Mr. Munch, $50,000, certified. Certified. Pay to the order of who do you think you're fooling? Yes, who do you think you're fooling? Daniel Francis Hannigan? <laughs> also known as Brewster Hannigan. <laughs> also known as Ralph Mudge. <laughs> also known as Danny Goodin. <laughs> Search them! And I believe you'll find that woman is their accomplice. <laughs> 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 My plichten. For gisteren heb ik die twee mensen nog nooit gezien.